Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Michael Novello and in this video tutorial I will show you how you make an infinite background or a studio background. A studio background comes from photography and it's for um, getting an infinite and an imagine of an infinite background. Uh, it's just a rounded corner uh, and if you light this the right way the eye can uh, tell you there is a edge or there is a wall so it's infinite and in Blender we can do this by setting up a plane just a plane and then we are going to make this plane as an L like this we have to deselect all and we select these guys here and we extrude them by two the set axis. Okay now we have a plane which is just forming an L and or two planes in a 90 degree angle. Okay and now let's just set this smooth and let's add a subsurf, uh, subdivision surface modifier and then you get something like that and to prevent that there something like this we can add some more geometry to this let's add two loop cuts and scale them in the x-axis like this and another two down here and let's scale them in the x-axis as well uh, no, this time in the y-axis like this and another one another two loop cuts here and scale them in set like this now, now you have something like that okay we have now a little rounded corner that's okay but we want more we want to be able to reuse this and scale this um, without losing the basic form we do this with shape keys. For this we are going into um, the object data here and we add a shape key. This is a basic shape key. This is the form like it is. And now if you add a second one, second key is based on the original basic form and now we can change our geometry a little bit. Let's move this one here or these guys here up and these guys here. Now we get getting a little bit more of an rounded edge and we tap out we are back to the basis and now if we change now this value here we can change the roundness of the corner that's because we call this roundness and now we want to change the length of this thing here that we can do by adding another shape key and let's call this length like this and let's go into the edit mode set it all and scale in the x-axis by let's say 5 okay now we tap out and we have our basis back now if you change this value you can move or scale it up without losing the original form. 
and the same thing we're doing for the, for the height. We add another shape key and we call this height like this and we are going into the edit mode and then we grab these two guys here because if you don't if you only grab this one we get around the edge here on the upside. So let's move this up just like that and voila if you now change this you can control the height of the of the shape. And now we can add another one for the floor and we do the same thing here let's grab these guys here top few and let's bring them to here and solve this now we can add length height <coughs> and Run this to this thing here, and you got a pretty cool um, studio background. The roundness you can add a little bit work more on the roundness. <coughs> Thus, you can um, these guys out of here, these guys more up, and then. We have a little bit more roundness, and let's just undo all the shape keys to zero, and then we are back here to our um, to our basic form, and that's it. How you build a reusable, edible. Um, background which is used for infinite backgrounds or something like that <coughs> no. <coughs> yeah it's a background that's because it's, it's a background okay um, we can do another form which we can do if we go in there and we let's just add another one and let's go in there uh, let's try this and we extrude this down in the set axis. We should get something like that. Even you can do an extrusion, the form is getting um, like you make it. If you change the shape key, it's all cool and you can here and we can call this um, as background okay and that's cool so if you need something like that just add this geometry and add it in a shape key or you can do an, an a U or um, something else like like um, if we go in there and we add another shape key and we call this um, um, top and we're going in there and we adding a little bit more geometry in. we exude this in the y-axis oh, it's separated I don't know why, okay now let's let's extrude this here and move it here so here then you have something like that if you go out and we, we change the, the value here we get um, 
several forms and we can play with this like we want. So, so you have one thing, one basic form and you just add some shape keys and you get a really cool background setup. Okay. I hope this helps you a little bit in your daily work. Thank you for watching and goodbye.